Bionic Gloves presents the Hands-On Golf Podcast, bringing anatomy and hand function to the forefront of glove design to improve comfort, fit, and performance. Bionic is a division of Hilrick and Bradsby Company, makers of Louisville Slugger bats and ball gloves. Bionic gloves are the only gloves designed by a leading orthopedic hand surgeon, Dr. Jim Kleinert. Welcome everyone to this week's Bonnie Gloves Hands-On Golf Podcast. My name is Chaz Rao. I'm your host and I'm here with Joe Frederick, the PGA Pro here at the Jeffersonville Elks Golf Club in Jeffersonville, Indiana. Let's get right into this week's email and this one comes in from Mike and he says, Hey guys, great podcast. I just discovered them and I look forward to enjoying them more. So see Joe, everybody likes seeing you guys. So you that's, and that's Eric and Barry. So yeah. thank you very much. Uh, here's his question. He says, I'm a beginner and I'm very intimidated by shots out of bunkers. Do you have any tips for bunker shots, Joe? Yeah, we can definitely take care of that. Bunker can be very intimidating. The, the most thing that people have problems with is decelerating the golf club. Uh, anytime we decelerate the golf club, uh, we're going to end up with some bad results, but especially in the bunker. Uh, we're all, always trying to scoop it out. Left side's breaking down uh, when we try to scoop the golf ball, and again, the club starts to decelerate. And it's not a very good thing. We want to make sure in a bunker, whether it's uh, green side, fairway, that you really accelerate through the golf shot. Uh, it's done, you know, making sure your uh, shoulders accelerate and again, trying to keep your left hand a little bit more firm through the shot. You have a lot more success, but you need to be a little bit more aggressive. Make sure you accelerate through the bunker. That'll throw the golf ball right out for you. We're going to see that in a moment here on the course, actually in the bunker. Joe's going to show us on how to do it properly. And Mike, thank you for your participation and your question because you're going to get a bionic glove. If you'd like to participate in this podcast, it's very easy. It's so easy. All you got to, I'm sure you can, if you're watching this, you know, you understand email. Send us one, podcast at bionicgloves.com. Include the question, your full name, mailing address, uh, whether you're right or left-handed, and what size you wear. You do all that, and of course, we use it. Only if we use it, we'll send you one. I've had people say, here's my question, now send me a glove. Sorry, we don't do it that way. We have to use the question. So if we use it, we'll be more than happy to send you one. Now, please leave your feedback in iTunes and YouTube as you are doing. And please tell all your golf buddies to subscribe to it as well because go to, you can actually view it at bonnetgloves.com slash podcast on YouTube and in iTunes. So please check that out. And if you're looking at purchasing a glove, please buy a bonnet glove because it's going to be a good thing. It's going to help your golf game. So now let's go to uh, the course and see how we can resolve this issue with the bunker shot in this edition of the Hands-On Golf Podcast. Okay, Mike, uh, here we are. This is a uh, greenside bunker uh, and working on our uh, bunker shots. Again, want to make sure that we accelerate through the golf shot. We tend to decelerate this shot or try to help it or, or scoop it out. Uh, we make a lot of mistakes, swing falls, when we do that. And just to give you a couple of examples of, of what happens, uh, again, if we're trying to scoop the golf ball, th the left side tends to break down in this way. Um, we tend to catch too much sand, okay? And we end up, as that, we end up not getting it out of the bunker, okay? We leave it short. Or the tendency with this is to actually skull the golf shot. And again, the same thing where we hit it, get it out of the bunker but again we we shoot it way over the green okay it causes for a lot of mistakes what we want to make sure we accelerate uh, again with the shoulders we want to try to aim uh, when we're hitting this shot obviously we're not allowed to hit the sand only then when we're hitting the golf shot are we allowed to touch the sand but for this sake we want to aim a little bit behind the golf ball just as kind of if we had a line maybe a half inch or so uh, dig our feet in a little bit but again we want to make sure we accelerate the golf club with the shoulders. So when we hit this shot, it comes out properly. Make sure we accelerate through, facing the target. The ball releases very well, gets on the green for us. Make it nice and easy. So on these bunker shots, again, make sure you accelerate through the shot. You'll have a lot more success. Any more problems, uh, please get out and see your PGA professional. <laughs>